Hey guys, Summit Man here. Uh, I'm going to start a little bit of a side series type thing. I'm going to play an old game. A game that I've always liked. A game that I've always played when I was a kid. Uh, it's from back in 1994, so if that dates myself a little bit, there you go. But, I'm using DOSBox. Which, some of you, some of you may know what it is. Some of you may have played games in DOS, but here it is. Yeah. Now, as you see, I'm typing in commands. This is how you change different things. You get to different places. Now you see where it says C, I changed it to the C drive, uh, and I'm changing it to the directory of pizza, which is where my the, the game that I want to play is. Basically, you just keep routing through. Instead of clicking, it's commands you'll get the hang of it, you know, I could put it in a different folder, different things like that, change things around, you just have to change how you type. But this is an older game, you guys might like this. Uh, just to give you an idea, a lot of people I see on the forums and stuff for this game, which, you know, there isn't near as much as there is other games that I play, but there are people out there that they can't figure out how to get customers and here's just one of my games okay what a mess we will get into the gameplay I will show you how to start out with this now anything in white right now is mine I'm not sure why it's rendering weird uh, this is the first time I'm playing it on Windows 8 I just take everything off my 7 PC and there you go. But as you see, there's a lot of restaurants. Just to show you a general idea of money, I'm making $812,000 a week in this one area, so it's possible to play this game. It's not an impossible game. And now I have to exit it to be able to... Uh, get back into a new game so let's go back into it since we're as you see it says C and then pizza we're still in the pizza folder so I just type pizza again and we'll go right back in which as you see this isn't a hard thing to do after a while don't you get used to it now let's go to a new game now the reason I don't pick either one of these you need stock pizzas you need four standard pizzas to be able to get business. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. Uh, we'll do normal. Summit. Man. You can change the name. Summit Pizza. As you see, now actually this isn't the player we're going to use. You want somebody that's young, that's healthy, and energetic with some cash. As you see this one's young he's younger. His popularity's good. His health and energy are good. Uh hmm. I'll go again. No, I don't want this guy. No. No. Hmm. We only have seven thousand, so that's gonna be a hurt. We'll, we may end up starting with a loan. Having to make a loan. I normally take the guy with 75000 but I'm going to take somebody new to see. I only have $7,000 to start. Let's pick Baltimore. Click on it twice, and it goes right in. And see this yellow, little yellow dot right in front of my cursor as soon as it pops back up? See it? That is where my restaurant is. See, it, it comes furnished. Yeah, people call it cheating, but you know what? You need the recipes. Now, to get started, first thing you want to do, click on the recipe. Now, I always view the recipe. Cost me a dollar ninety-one to make it, so we're going to transfer it. Now, you can use your number keys if you on your keyboard if you have it. You would click this button to transfer it, and just put in ten dollars. I normally do 10, 15, 20, and 25. 
This one, ten dollars again. And let's see what this one looks like. This one, let's go fifteen. This one will go ten. Ten is the lowest I go. Don't ask me why, it's just the way it is. <laughs> okay, now let's order some stock. See anything in red? We need. Now, to start, yeah, this is this is slow. Drop. I want to get the highest ingredients. Now, you should start out with the lower grade ingredients, but I always start out with the higher grade to get the customers. Uh, I normally can get a three-star restaurant, no problem. The problem is, is you need to get good training, you have to have good equipment, stuff like that to get any higher. Which, hey, it takes work to get a good restaurant. You know, in the next few videos, I will show you how easy it is to just get this business up and going. There are some cheap ways of getting money, which give you a general idea it's buying and selling weapons uh, there's a thing where if you save the game a certain way with equipment in your truck it you get the equipment back plus you had the made the money on it I don't cheat you know now I do weapons dealing once in a while that's not cheating uh, it does cost you money it takes time effort uh, what you do is you fly from city to city find wherever it is, the weapon it is the cheapest buy it and go to the most expensive city and sell it. Now, I can make a contract, but the only thing with that, a lot of them, I'm not near the high value. I don't want to have hundreds of items in stock because I don't have a lot of money. So, let's get out of here. Let's go look at some wait staff. Now, no, 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 yep. Now, you see the cooking is low. Well, we can train Jasmine Jolly to go all the way up to 100. Her motivation, her, his, whatever, probably her, her motivation will go up to 100 the more money you give them. And they also give you their application. And this one says, life will be so sweet when you come here to eat. Our pizza's, our pizza's fresh and hot will never be forgot. Okay. They really, it's all f funny. Wait until you see some of the bankers you deal with. Uh, I should not hit that button. I should hit the hire button. That's the person I want to hire. Yeah. Can I just hire him? Now, they have set wages. You can change your wages. Now, if you see this number here, the 260, that's how many pizzas they make a day. Okay, 260 pizzas. When you change your wages up, that number goes up. Change your wages down, number goes down. So, let's go to a waiter. Same thing will go with them, how many pizzas they can handle a day. And if you're wondering what I mean by that, as you, you'll see as we go, if there's anything over that the manager will take over, then they won't order the inventory if that's what you want. They won't, the manager will end up doing the other person's job instead of their own. So, let's see the resume on this one. Nobody messes with me. I'll make sure you don't get, you don't get any unwelcome customers. Don't you worry, but the money's got to be right. So let's go back to statistics, and that's pretty good. I mean, it's not the greatest, but what I look at is I normally don't pay them over a thousand. Normally don't, but I'm going to try a new tactic while you guys are watching. Eh, that's not a great number, but it'll be good. While you guys are watching, I'm going to try and just have two employees instead of three and four. Two employees for cooking, two employees for everything, except for manager. You only need one of them. Now, I want this person to just act themselves. I don't want them to change prices, only for the fact of they try and change it. Say you only sold one pizza that day. They'll change the prices to like $100, anything to try and make money. <coughs> so, I don't really want to do that. So, I want them to shop if needed. Overdraw account? No. Yeah, I better let them overdraw the account. That way I have supplies in case I need it. Now, let's go shopping. This is not a good guy. No. This is a good one. See, he's low in price. 220 pizzas. His motivation is 80. I don't have to raise his pay to get his motiv motivation high enough 
to actually order stock. So we'll hire Mike Muscle. Uh, yeah, I'll leave his wages alone for now. Now we have everything we need. We're going to open the restaurant. You have just opened your first restaurant. Okay, there you go. Open your first restaurant. Nothing can stop you from becoming the greatest pizza maker. Uh, this is slow for some reason. It shouldn't be. Maker in the country, or can it? Okay, you go out, you go in. Now to get out of your wet restaurant, you just right click. Let's click on this guy. I am eating quattro stagion, or whatever. I can't pronounce any of this stuff. That's ridiculous. It's far too expensive. Okay, is it? N well, sorry. <laughs> I'm not losing money on it. Let's see what this guy thinks of our decorations. It's not bad. You'll soon get used to the furnishings. Okay. Now, the reason this guy talked about furnishings, as soon as I get out of it, this guy talked about furnishings because you don't see a pizza in front of him. This person talked about the pizza because he's eating one. And if you sit here long enough, you'll actually see the waiter come out. But I just go back. I right-clicked. I'm waiting for it to go. There we go. I think it's something with my computer being too fast. That's going to glitch like that. I suppose you can get your used to this room if you had to. Yep. Usual. Normally, I don't get any flack about my uh, decorating. Now, we can advertise and stuff. We really cannot afford it right now. We only have $5,700. Uh... In real life, you can probably run a business like that because you could probably do all the work yourself because, as you see, I only had one pizza. But you need the wait staff, you need cooks, and you need managers. You know, normally starting a business, you do it all by yourself, but in this game, you can't. Now, that shows that it's a second pizza sold, but that's not bad at all. Now, see, she doesn't didn't say anything about the price. It's a good pizza. It's just the old guy was a grumpy old geezer. Now, this bottom button here, bottom right button, this is the end turn button. Uh, here is the newspaper. You can read the newspaper. tells you what trends are going on. And here we have muscles that they are, you don't want them. So if they're in one of your pizzas, that pizza's not going to sell, at least until that comes up. Now, here you have the, the certain zone that I'm in. This is their stats for the people. Another thing is you can watch your competitors. Turnover in 10,000 in the chain of restaurants. 10,000. Nobody's near it because this is the very first day. Now the market share, nobody has it. Your goal is to own the market share. And I don't mean just it's saying you're the market leader. I mean own the market share. Uh, when we get into it later, I will show you actually how I own the market share. I'm up 30%. And like you saw, I was making 812000 a month a week. That's a lot of money, you know? Now, just so you know, this is my building. I rent it. I don't own it. And you see over here in the right, it says, to purchase, the purchase price is 270 Really? It's... Okay, give me a break here. It's 272000 to buy it. I, my rent is 3400 a month. Now, what I recommend doing before you open a second restaurant is purchase this building. Because it is going to be expensive to have, you know, eight rents, you know, eight times, or say ten restaurants. I mean, I had like 20 in the other one. Let's say ten restaurants. That's $34,000 a month you got to try and make. And if only one store is doing good and you're trying to expand and expand, you're not going to have money to do anything else. Now here... This shows me what I lost so far. <clears throat> I lost $1,245. Doesn't sound like much. And technically it's not. It's just the start of the week. So here this will show you your profit or loss. Okay, since I had started with the uh, capital and all. Yeah, I only started with $7,000. But I had $7,000 in furniture. Now I have... Now the supplies, of course, equaled out. Because I just purchased them. $3,000 in equipment. So you see what I mean. It's more than I started with. Yeah, I could sell everything off, but you only get half of that. So, see, I, hey, I did. I sold four pizzas. Now, this is your settlement. You, ord you had four orders. You sold four. Now, there are times that pizzas sold will be less than this. And that's when you want to look up in this, 
this box up here and it'll tell you, you know, not enough supplies to satisfy the demand, uh, not enough waiters, not enough cooks, not enough fr uh, fr uh, th ovens, certain things like that. And I used $11 ingredients and made $29 today. Yeah, of course, I spent that in ingredients, but the $1,245 in ingredients, but there you go. That gives you an idea of how you're doing. And then this cycles through everybody else's turn. Because this is a turn-based game, there is a multiplayer in it, but I don't know how to get that set up. Even when I was a kid, I didn't know how to set it up. So my brother and I would just fight over the computer every other day. And, you know, if you ever see Skrilbs, you know, just leave a message on the video. He watches most of my videos, so just leave a comment on the bottom of one of my videos and say, you know, do you and Summit Man fight a lot? <laughs> He'll answer yes. There, see now you can see a customer walking in. So there are still graphics, and you guys may be saying these are poor graphics, but think about it. This is 1994. This was a DOS-based game. Not this was before Windows 95. This was before user interfaces and stuff. The the popular Windows, basically. So this is a good game. Great graphics, you know, especially for the time. And, you know, I'll show you how to place furniture and stuff down the road. But we want to... Okay, that customer just disappeared. Okay, somebody stole from me. If you see up here, restaurant number one, some money is missing from your till. You cannot understand why. So, and you look down here, there's money missing. Somebody stole money from me. Yeah, really? You want to be a jerk? Whatever. Don't like the lime green floor? Then pay for a new one. Okay, I'm not seeing any customers. Now, just because you don't see customers doesn't mean you're not getting any business. Now, another thing. See this over here? It says room for one people with two chairs. You don't have to put just one at them. That's what they recommend, but you can put two at them as you see the computer generated two at each. I never... In the beginning, I just buy whatever I want, whatever kind of furniture I want, and then down the road, once I have money, I make them all fancy and stuff like that. See, now this person likes the furnishings. You know, you have some people that don't like them, other people that do. Now, let's end the day again. Now, it seems like we're not doing much, but there you go. Now, we're up to 19 pizzas. Yeah, it's only $190, but it's still money. You know, we made a profit of 131 may not sound like a, a lot, but to start out, I mean, hey, if we have to get a loan, we have to get a loan. But at least we're making something. I suppose you can get used to this room if you had to. Now, another thing I wanted to show you is if this will ever exit my restaurant. Okay. Now. That's how much money was stolen. $1,040. We lost, now, we made $881, or $219. But since 1041 was stolen, let me go back to that. Since $1,040 were stolen, was stolen, we're at a loss right now. It's going to cost, ooh, see? Each day is getting better. Now, I'm not doing any advertising. I'll go into that next. How to do the advertising. Advertising is good. To an extent. But, like flyers. The flyers are the cheapest. You just click shop. It's $100. It's 100 flyers for $50. Now, you can up that. It's 500 for 250 That's $250 a day. Yes, it helps, but right now we don't have the money. Go into posters just to give you a general idea on pricing. Two hundred or $2,120. There are others that go higher. As you see, 3040 bucks. You know, that's too much right now. A day. You know, if it was a month, no, but no big deal. Now, these can go up to 2500 a day, full-color page ads, stuff like that. Now, the TV ads... 
eight thousand dollars. There's one that's ten thousand. Oh, there's another one that's eleven. Do not ever hit the shopping cart if you're just browsing, because you will end up purchasing it. Just hit the back arrow here. Do it again. As you see now, this is a this is a property that can can be vacant. This is a residential building. If you click on it, it'll tell you that. This one's to rent, and you see the size is 17 by 15. Mine's 16 by 14. So mine's a little smaller. But if you right click again, go out more, go out more. Let's see the range of. Okay, he has no pizzas. Okay, there's one restaurant. There's two. So we have two. Two restaurants that we're in com competition with. Three. As you see, everybody's small right now. But I can tell you right now, it won't take the competition long to get many multiple locations. I'm surprised none of them do by now. Sometimes within a w the first week, they're they're up there, you know. So now just remember, whatever name you named your your pizza place or whatever, that's how you find yours. Now, and this is these this is the range, so I'm basically covering this area. Once in a while at the end of the day you'll see it says range goes up from this to this. That means that star got bigger. So let's go back into our restaurant. You can click over here to scroll. Let's click the, the wooden pieces to scroll. You can also use the arrows to scroll. Now, uh, another thing I forgot to tell you is if your number pad doesn't work, hit noon lock twice. Turn it off and turn it back on. Sometimes the DOS box it doesn't read it right away. He likes the pizza. Uh, yeah, you're a businessman, that's why. Sorry, I didn't mean to click on you. Now, another thing I, want, I almost forgot to show you is the pizza charts. Now, see I'm not on it. Down the road, I will be on it. I will have that I in my other place I own or that other game I had saved I have every slot and that I think was normal mode too if not it was hard one or the other I don't do pushover because it's too easy but this prices are cool for the area so you know you're good you're getting the market you're looking for at the end of day 45 again which 3 times 7 is 2100, not bad. 2100 in profit a day or a week is not bad. Another way to figure it out. Now, if I were to fly somewhere else, I'd lose this much each each week, which is a lot. But if you go here and look, we're at 275 of a loss. And in the first week with somebody stealing, that's not bad. Now we're down to 44. I don't want to do advertising yet because it does cost too much money. I want to survive my first week, see what the wages are. I'm figuring wages are going to be about 1700 1800 See, you float around. Now, this is how much we brought in. Total profit, $1,683. Which, hey, that's a good profit. 1630 is what we spent on wages. So, we only made $53 profit, which is not good. You know, you got to keep in mind. Now, if I would have spent 250 a day in advertising, 250 times 7 is just shy of 2000 It's $1,750. So, we'd have lost that money. So, yeah, we may have gotten more customers, but there's no guarantees. So, let's do it again. They're slowly going up. Maybe I'll figure out these graphics one day. Not likely, because I'm no good at this stuff. Okay, you don't like... I'm going to change the flooring as soon as I can, boss. I promise. <laughs> Talk to him like I know him. This is the size store I want. 18 by 18, I normally go with minimum. The largest you can go is 20 by 20. There's a 19 by 19, but that's for sale only. I normally don't keep my first store because it's never a large, large restaurant. Even though we click large, this is pretty large compared to some. Let's go into our competitors' restaurants. 
which I forgot to tell you is you can do. See, this guy has two locations already. Which that's annoying. But now this is a large restaurant. See how goofy that is. Now, if you say no to him, he will smash up your furniture. Just say yes. Since we know our wages are only sixteen hundred, we'll we'll we're floating. We're doing good for now. We're not millionaires, but we're doing good. And see, this is a small restaurant. And this must be in a business area because he has business furniture. I wish I could buy out my competitors, but in this game you can't. I was hoping to get Scribbs, which is, he's a computer programmer, to modernize this game a little bit for me. To And of course I remember my location, so... But trying to get skills to modernize this so where we can merge with our competitors. You just give them a cash offer and take them. So you don't have to spend all the time and money into starting a new store. But, you know, you can't do that yet. <laughs> but I'm, you know, Roller Coaster Tycoon, Railroad Tycoon, Railroad Tycoon 2. Different games like that I used to play all the time. Along with this. This is my favorite game. One of my favorite games. Now, let me just end the day. We're at 45. We're still balancing. Now, just remember, the first two or three days, we didn't even have a full... Uh, a full... Uh, up to 45. So, I mean, we're, gonna, we're making profit. Not a huge profit, but we're going to make a profit. They just have to remember, at the end of the month... Like that thirty dollars profit, that'll be gone because the rent's thirty four hundred. And you guys are thinking, oh that's not that much money. But if you're not making a lot, it's a lot. And see now, here we go again. We went up four pizzas. But we only went up twenty seven dollars in in sales. And in profit. And if you notice, this is the amount of ingredients used that went up, so it's a pizza that costs a little more to make. And also here's the expenditures. This is what the manager spent. Now the protection was twenty-four hundred, so he must have spent twenty uh, two hundred and twenty-four dollars yesterday in supplies. But hey, we still have plenty of room with our waitress and chef. Get up around a hundred, then you want to start watching, making sure they're doing their jobs. And forty-nine again. It does take time. You can advertise, but like I said, we got to worry about our rent. We have thirty-four hundred dollars left. That's not enough for wages and rent. Now we're up to 50. See? And it's not hard. Like I said, the best way to do it is the quick start. Yeah, it may seem like cheating. But it's the only way to get those four recipes. I mean, you can make them by hand. You can go into... Recipes. Nope, not menu, not menu. Recipes. And you can click on one. And you can bake it. But the thing is, is you have to be exact with positioning and everything else. It's hard. So, I don't do it. But, let's go again. 51. See? We're climbing. It takes a little bit, but you get there. What I will do is, next week, we or next video, not next week. Sounds weird. The next video I do of this, which I may record two or three of these in a sitting pending. Yep, there we go. I will look into maybe getting a loan, opening a second store, stretching ourselves a little thin. But now right there. We spend sixteen hundred in labor, sixteen hundred and thirty in labor. So we're making almost a thousand dollars profit a week. So if we do that with that almost a thousand dollars four weeks, you have your month, you know, you have your full month's rent. You know, you don't get scared when you see the money. Like, I, you know, we started out with $7,000. we are down to $3,600. do not get scared. See, we lost $3,000. $1,000 there. 2400 there. So that's $3,440. we are still losing money somewhere else, but we spent money in stock. If you look at our values, yeah. See, we're under what we spent in protection. Because our supplies keep going up. So, just gotta go slow. It gets there.
slowly but surely. Mm, 55 we went down. That sucks. Now another thing you have to keep a close eye on is competitors in your area. Right here, nobody immediate. You gotta go through. Oops, see there's one right here. Oh, he was there. But I don't see... Is that one? Yep. See, there's one right here. Let's see what he looks like. Eh, medium restaurant. Though That's cheap furnishings, just so you know. And this little thing over here is a jukebox. But these are cheaper furnishings. You know, and that's what you get when you... You get what you pay for. You know, people don't like the cheaper furnishings. You know, the kids don't mind it. They don't like the... Ta they don't mind the tacky stuff. The business people don't like it. You know, and you can spend like that one restaurant I showed you, the business furniture, that was, you know, like f three or four grand a table. We don't have that kind of money. Let's see. Prices are all right. Now, yes, you can turn up the profit per pizza, but you're going to bring more people in with lower prices. And since our, sh our chef and our waitress aren't in the greatest yet, you don't want to play that game. Now, here's another thing we can do. Yes, we, we're going to end up ordering stock by hand. Now, here, this, these numbers here, I have three days worth of that, ten days worth of that, so on and so forth. So, I'm going to go in here, let's train our waitress, or our chef. Now, they can only take this course because she is only at 32. It's a four-day course and it cost me 1500 Do we really want to do that? Not right now. You don't want to spend that kind of money. You know, if I had thirty, forty thousand, then I would. But we're sticking around fifty-five, so we're we're doing okay. You know, we didn't. It's not a get-rich-quick scheme. This does take work, and of course, it doesn't look like I'm doing any work. But there you go. Now, same amount of sales. Okay, fifty-five pizzas. Four hundred seven dollars profit. Four hundred fifteen dollars profit. It's all it depends on the ingredients used. So it's a different pizza one or two different pizzas, maybe ten different pizzas. It all depends. And this keeps freaking blurring out on me. Oop, didn't mean to hit it again. I mean, you see we're up to 5,000, so we're making some sort of money. But, we have ten days left of this month. So, if we really need to cross our fingers. You know, we start out with seven grand. Let's see what our profit margin is. This is the one I like. We only lost $116 now. Go to the monthly overview. We only lost $1,700 according to this, cash-wise. But, you know, it is what it is. But that'll be it for this episode, guys. Uh, like I said, I'll probably record a couple of these in a row. Get some Minecraft videos up. Get some more of these up. If you guys like this series, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment, any questions, just ask. I'll be here to help you. We're going to save this as a game. And we're going to save it as Let's Play. Oh, yeah, you can't do spaces in it. Okay. Well, that'll be it, guys. See you later.